Hey guys, quick draw here, and today I have a 15 and 2 on the map of Plaza using a lot of guns. Yeah, a lot of guns. <laughs> I'm not gonna name them all, I think I use like two or three this game. Sorry, let me have a sip of water here. Ugh. Good. It's really late at night here. Well, not not too late, but I'm getting tired. I woke up early this morning, so I'm sorry if this commentary isn't as energetic as normal, but I do have a topic for you, and that is how I got started in gaming, and how I started my YouTube channel. Now, how I got into YouTube, or gaming, is mostly just by my friends, um, they really enjoyed it, they... Um, when I first got started with gaming, it was very much influenced by my friend, um, his, his name is Billy, he, uh, he had a PS2, PlayStation 2, and, um, we, uh, played James Bond on that a lot, so that's where I got into my first person shooters, but, um, that's usually all I played when I went over to his house, um, it was a lot of fun and everything, we... We uh, usually just played that and a couple other games, and uh, he really got me into the uh, RPG side of games or the role-playing games, uh, like Skyrim and everything, and that's that's always been fun. Too close, but uh, uh, first-person shooters, uh, it's a stand-alone topic, I guess, to talk about, and it it's just very hard to talk about because. It, not everybody likes it. I mean, everybody in this video probably probably does like it because why would they watch this video? It's a first-person shooter, um, and I think that the reason I got into it was completely up to him. If he wouldn't have shown me that uh, PlayStation 2 um, and everything, because I didn't even know about it at the time. All I did was watch TV and went outside, um, and if he wouldn't introduce that to me, you wouldn't be seeing these YouTube videos. Because after I started playing a little bit, I wanted to learn more at the game. Because I didn't want to keep getting beat by him and everything. I, I wanted to play the game. I wanted to get better at it. And um, that's exactly what I did. So I went onto YouTube. Typed in something in the search bar. Came up with a bunch of videos. And bam, I was I was getting good at the game. That's not the case for this game. But that, that worked there. Looks like my phone just went off. Turn it off there. Um, Eliminate the objective. And I really got into fire. YouTube here. How I got into the search and destroy side, I will never know. Why I switched from respawn to search and destroy so quickly in a blink of an eye that I loved it. Ninja Jeepies are there. Um, I can't explain my gaming past, I guess, to the extent of Call of Duty is I just don't remember how I got into it, to be honest. Um, Bomb dropped. Uh, I can tell you how I got into YouTube, though, which was a fun experience of mine, and it still is. Um, Bomb acquired. This, the YouTube community really helped me out. Uh, I had two or three other channels before this, I had the Gaming Pros 11, I had this one, and um, my very first channel, I think it's still up actually, is, <laughs> um, I made this channel when I was seven, six or seven, uh, I posted Lego videos, um, those were a lot of fun, I usually made them with my friends and everything, um, not spot, stop motion or anything, I, I tried that up couple times but I didn't have the patience for it so I gave up on it um but that's really where I got into the YouTube side um Legos I guess I got into the YouTube side the gaming of YouTube um that's I found that out on my own I have told you the story about that um <clears throat> excuse me and um it, it's been so much fun um how I got started on Call of Duty was really just um, my friends and me knew about it. Um, we knew we wouldn't get it because we were too young at the time. The um, not not necessarily too young, but we just thought it was very violent and a terrible game, uh, terrible to the entire world, as we put it. 
So we just didn't think we were going to get it. And when my friend did, which is he got me into Search and Destroy about 25% of the way. 15% actually. Um, he started playing it and um, he, uh, I, I didn't believe him at first that he got the game. Because he was one of the people that I talked to that I thought was, I thought this was a terrible game. That's, that's just what I thought. Um, I, I thought that this game would be terrible for me. It ruined my entire um, thoughts and everything about about life and everything. It didn't. Um, just just to clear that up. It didn't at all. It. Um, I think it didn't. I wouldn't necessarily say it helped me. Um, I think it. It opened me up my mind, um, if I put it that way, uh, I, I, it opened up my mind um, to have more possibilities. That That's when I got into the search and destroy aspect of it. But uh, how I got out of respawn was, uh, well obviously I started with respawn because I think everyone starts with respawn and uh, it's just, it's just a starter in that everyone starts with it. Um, but how I got out of it was actually I'm Marksman. That's why I talk about him all the time because he's my favorite commentator. He's my favorite um, Call of Duty commentator. That's why I talk about him so much. Um, mainly because he's very good at what he does. Um, he know he puts these videos together just so well. He doesn't edit them a lot. I mean just how he talks in general. And everything like that. I just think he does it very nicely. So that's how I got into YouTube. I'm not sure if I explained this very well, but if I did, tell me. Um, I want your honest opinion because I'm trying to figure out why you watch my videos. But if you enjoyed, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.